those of you that are new, welcome! So I had so much fun in my last video dressing up all my horses for Halloween, so I decided to do it again, but this time with my dogs and making them DIY Halloween costumes. Guys, I'm so excited for this. I hope this is so much fun. Before we get into the video, don't forget to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. And don't forget to get your merch at www.sesfarmfam.com. All right, you guys, let's get into the video. All right, so the first costume. So we're gonna be making a typical Beanie Baby. So this is super, super easy. We have our red foam paper. And then I just went online and I printed the typical Beanie Baby tag. So this is it all butchered up now. And my printer was having a hard time. So that's why it looks like this. And then I actually just cut out the TY out of it because we're gonna also trace that. So it's just the heart, that's all you need. So we're just gonna fold our paper in half, hot dog style. And then I'm going to take my heart stencil and then I actually am using this pencil because this is the only pencil that I could find. And I'm gonna go ahead and trace the heart. And I'm doing it right next to the fold because it needs to actually be folded. So we're just gonna use this fold line. We're just gonna go ahead and cut out the heart. But again, we're gonna keep our fold So here's a heart tag. So pretty much this is how it will open, just like you see on a Beanie Baby. And then this is the face of it. All right, so now we need those big white letters, T and Y. But I wanted to make this a little bit more fun. So I got glitter white paper. You can go ahead and do it just with the white paper if you want it to look the same, but this is glitter white paper and it's actually sticky on the back. So this will work perfect. You don't even need the hot glue. So normally the T and the Y would look like this and you would trace it onto your paper. But since this is glitter paper, it's pretty hard to actually trace on the glitter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and flip it to the white side. And then when we flip it to the white side, we actually need to flip our T and Y. So we'll go ahead and just flip these like this. And now we'll be able to stencil them and then they'll appear the right way on the glitter side. So we're gonna go ahead and use our abnormally large pencil and get to tracing. We've got our Y, and our T. We're just gonna go ahead and cut out the T and the Y. Now I definitely wanted to stencil these because they kind of have a certain way about this font. It's much rounder than a normal font. So I wanted to make sure that I got the exact same font so there's the Y, I think it looks fabulous. Now we just have to cut out the T. Okay, so perfect, we now we have our T and we have our Y, so we are ready to stick them onto the heart. There we are, oh my gosh, this looks Fabulous, it's super cute, and I love that we did the sparkly paper. It just adds a little something. Okay, so now this wouldn't be complete if we didn't put the inside. On the inside, it just says usually the Beanie Baby's name and description. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, but we do need some white paper for the inside. So I just purchased white cardstock because regular paper I didn't think was gonna be good enough. Now I'm just gonna trace the same template that I had, and then I'll just cut a little bit inside of the lines so that it fits perfectly in the heart. All right, so we have our two hearts. So now we're just gonna take our big red heart and then put our two white hearts inside and then we'll be pretty much done. I'm actually just gonna use a couple dots of hot glue. You can use a glue stick or whatever works best for you, but this is just what I have. So now we have our super cute Beanie Baby tag and with the inside, and it's perfect, ready to be written in. All right, so now the typical thing that what it says inside of a Beanie Baby is their name, a little description, and that's what we're gonna do. So this one's gonna be for Lexi. So I'm gonna go on this side, and then it's underlined, and then on this side, you just put the name, and then we'll do the date of birth, and a small description. Hi Lexi! Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our Beanie Baby costume on Lexi. 
And she's a little crazy, so we're gonna see if she's gonna let us put it on her. Good girl. <laughs> Lexi is way too excited for Halloween and being a beanie baby. Normally beanie babies don't do this. Get down. Come here, come here, come here. Show the camera that you're a beanie baby. So here it is, and it's just like a typical Beanie Baby. It's super cute, and you open it up, and here it is. It says that she's Lexi, so it's perfect, and she looks like a cute little dog teddy bear. All right, so that one was so cute. I loved Lexi in it. It was so simple, and it's super cute. I think it'd be so cute to make one for all my animals, and my all my pets would be Beanie Babies. It'd be so adorable. But the next costume we have is for Miley. She's our English Cream Golden Retriever, so she's white. So it only makes sense if we make her into a duck. So I'm back here with my foam paper, and this time I'm using orange. And we have stencils again. Stencils to me are just so easy, and I just printed them out. I have the duck bill and then the feet. So obviously ducks only have two feet, but we're gonna go ahead and give four since Miley has four feet. And we're gonna make the duck bill. All right, so we just need to cut out four feet and then one for the duck bill. So I'm just gonna use my Sharpie and outline the duck foot. The Sharpie is much easier to use on the foam paper than the giant pencil that we had. Although, it's gonna get all over you. All right, so we're just doing foot number two. All right, and we're just tracing out the duck bill now. So now we gotta cut them all out, and this time I'm actually going to cut, not on the outside of the black, but the inside, so that we don't have the black marking. All right, so this is the duck bill, so I think what we'll do is we'll kinda just round it out. So it will look like this around the snout of the dog and then put some elastic around it so it can go around her head. All right, so on this, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw two black little dots for kind of like nostrils. And now we're just cutting out those feet. All right, so now we have our four feet cut out. Now we just have to add the elastic. All right, so I'm going to cut this pretty small because again, this is elastic, so it's stretchy. So when it goes around the feet, I don't want it to be too loose, but I don't want it to be too tight. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut about this much, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this four times. All right, so we have our four elastic bands for the feet, and now we just need to make the elastic band for the duck bill. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this, this length, for around her head. All right, now all we have to do is attach these with hot glue and this costume is done. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue right on this side and right on this side. And then we'll go ahead and take this side of the elastic and then swing this side over here. So now we have the elastic on the foot. What's so cute about doing it like that, it kinda curves the foot over so it'll sit nicely and look like an actual duck foot. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat with the following three feet. All right, so we have our duck bill and our duck feet all ready with elastic to put on the dog, so we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so we have Miley now and she may be a little excited to put on this Halloween costume. How excited are you for Halloween? Look, you're gonna be a duck. You're gonna be a duck, oh my God, she's so excited to be a duck. You're gonna be a duck, oh no. You're gonna be a duck? You wanna be a duck? Oh, she wants to eat the duck. All right, so Mike's just gonna distract her by rubbing her belly and I'm gonna try to get these on her feet. All right, we've got one flapper on. <laughs> and we've got three to go. All right, second flapper on. Oh my gosh, she's slowly but surely turning into a duck right before our eyes. All right, we have all the duck feet on. Now she just needs her bill, and then she is a duck. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this one is so cute. Oh my God, guys, she is a full on duck. She looks just like a duck. This one is seriously like my favorite. I love this one, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute as a duck. Oh my gosh, all right guys, I'm gonna call her and see her get up and see what she does. Come here, Miley, oh my gosh, you little duck. Oh my gosh, 
this is so cute. She wants the duck bill off, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the duck bill off. Well, actually, come here. Come here. Okay, we're gonna take the duck bill off and see her walk around her little duck feet. Look at your duck feet. She totally doesn't care. These are perfect. Oh, look at her go. <laughs> Miley, come here. Come here, Miley. Look at your little duck. The duck one was so cute and super easy. Miley actually looked like a duck. All right, so last but not least, we have a really old sheet. So what are we gonna do with an old sheet? So this is super, super DIY last minute. Get an old sheet. Ours is kind of an off-white, so we're gonna go with that. But we're gonna turn one of our dogs into a ghost. So what I've done here is you can see these black dots. And what they symbolize is something really odd where the dog's face is. We just put the sheet up to her and we kind of just dotted where things would need to go. So now we just need to turn them into actual holes. So this is where an eye would go, the other eye, and then kind of her snout area. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and continue to draw the circle and I think that's about good. And then two eyes. So we'll just go something like this. And it's a ghost, so they don't need to be perfect. Something like that. That one's definitely bigger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of punch the scissors into the sheet. This is a really old sheet, so it's just cutting easy. And we're gonna just cut the circles out. All right, so I have my funny looking eyes cut out. <laughs> this is really funny. Now we just have to do the mouth. So we have our ghost shape cut out and it's ready to go on the dog. All right, so we have our ghost. Now this is the moment of truth to see if this actually works because it was just kind of eyeballed. Fun. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on Daisy and see if it works. Come here, Daisy. Daisy, are you excited for your Halloween costume? Daisy girl. Oh my gosh. Okay, so her head went right through it when we were walking. Oh my God, my, she walked right into it. Okay, hold on. We need to find the eyeballs, Daisy. Alright you guys, so we did the eye holes pretty perfect and the nose hole she made just a little bit bigger so that was perfect so she can see and her nose goes right through and this is so cute. Hi my little ghost! Oh my gosh, this ghost gives lots of kisses. Alright you little ghost, come here! Come here my little ghost! Alright you guys, that was so much fun and that is me making all my dogs costumes. That was actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. They were kind of tricky, but we got it done and they were all so super cute. My absolute favorite one was the duck. I want you guys to tell me which costume was your favorite in the comments right now. All right, you guys, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below so you can join our herd. And I'll see you in the next one.